In Washington State, um, it is not legal to grow marijuana. The only state that has legalized, it is not legal to grow cannabis unless you have a recommendation, a medical marijuana recommendation from a doctor then you are allowed to grow cannabis in Washington State. So uh, I wanted to help, and, and I have been a medical marijuana patient now for 16 years. This is my 16th year as a medical marijuana patient in Washington State. Um, and, and I wanted to take a minute to, 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 again, encourage you to do this legally because it's not worth it to if you get in trouble for doing it illegally when you could be doing it legally. So... Uh, uh, I have recently got my medical marijuana recommendation renewed by Greenleaf Healthcare, uh, which is in Ballard, uh, which is just just north of Seattle. Um, you know, it's like ten minutes north of Seattle, uh, maybe five minutes north of Seattle. It's right there. It's right there in Seattle, basically. And uh, Greenleaf Healthcare. Uh, again, I have been a medical marijuana patient for 16 years, okay, and every time I've gone to get my medical marijuana recommendation renewed, um, I had to go somewhere out into bumfuck Egypt to find, uh, you know, this little podunk, this little, this little hole in the wall thing that was, you know, uh, it looked like a, a strip mall, basically, and it was, you know, um, I actually had to go to a hotel a couple of times because the people, the doctors that were doing the recommendations back in the day didn't actually have an office in this area. They would come from out of town to do it. Um, so uh, I would have to go to a hotel, I have to go to little strip malls out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it was always very inconvenient, always. And I always had to wait. There was always like a line. And... Um, and, I, and it just was never a, a very nice experience, honestly. But going to the doctor isn't a very nice experience. Now, when I go to Greenleaf Healthcare in Ballard, which I highly recommend, uh, uh, Dr. Will McDonald uh, has taken care of me now for a couple of years, and he is, he is just fantastic. The first time I went, I was 20 minutes late for my appointment. It was the end of their day. Uh, they could have easily just closed up shop and gone home. Nobody was there except for me and the doctor and the receptionist and um, Dr. Will. And, um, and, I, and I'm not a person who's late. Uh, but I also don't drive, so there can be complications to that a lot. Uh, so <laughs> I was 20 minutes late. He said, no big deal, man. I got you covered. Come on in. And, and he gave me this examination like I have never gotten before uh, getting my medical marijuana script. Usually they, they take my temperature, they take my pulse, they take my blood pressure which he did all that, but then he proceeded to look in my ears, to look in my eyes, to look down my throat, to look up my nose, which no other doctor has done. Uh, in the 16 years that I've been a medical marijuana patient, no other doctor has done this other than Dr. Will McDonald at Greenleaf Healthcare. Um, and... Uh, and he, you know, he, he... And then he proceeded to have me, like, stand up and touch my toes and put my arms out, and he, like had me check the you know the the um uh, the mobility of my shoulders he fucking leaned me this way he leaned me that way he and then he asked me <laughs> about my bowel movements <laughs> which no medical marijuana uh script provider has done before um and then he asked me about my eating habits, uh, you know, what kind of stuff I eat. He asked me about how much fast food I eat, which no doctor has ever done before. I said, <laughs> does Domino's count? Because <laughs> I don't go out to eat. I don't have any money. I don't go out to eat. Does Domino's count? He says, he said, sure. I had Domino's about three weeks ago. Um, because I had company and they and they bought Domino's. I wouldn't go to Domino's generally. Um, but uh, I digress. As I, you know, so I, and that's that. I really don't eat fast food. I really, really don't. I don't go out to eat at all. Um, every once in a while, uh, friends will take me to get Chinese food, 
uh, where else do we go? We go Chinese, and that's about it. Um, but that's very rare, like every other month or so. Um, and uh, let's see. And then he asked me. Uh, he asked me about you know well, what it is that I eat, and I described him you know my normal daily routine, and and he suggested that instead of just having a couple of big meals uh, during the day, that I should probably try and break it down into four or five smaller meals. Which I've done, uh, uh, which is you know cool. I, I actually like that. Uh, it seems to it seems to make it so I'm not so hungry all the time, um, and uh, you know and he just and they have all these other services. They have acupuncture. They have um, vitamin treatments. They have all these things. And you know what? And and the uh, and the the um, the room that he saw me in, the patient room that he saw me in, was really like it was like a. a it was a really good space. Like there was plants in there, and there's books, and uh, I don't think he had music playing, but I know they had the ability to have music playing. There's crystals, you know. It's kind of like new agey, but it was all, you know, just really positive experience. And and uh, in the room that he saw me in, there was also a window, and you could look out and you could see the Puget Sound. You could see the water from the window, and I was like, oh, that's nice, you know. And the whole, I'm just telling you that the whole experience was incredibly pleasant and um, and thorough you know he, he gave me a couple of exercises he says I want you to do these exercises for your shoulder and for your neck it'll help you be much looser in your back and shoulder area and um, and it just it just friendly good soft-spoken you know like a lot of doctors are kind of gruff and uh, and you know like you listen to what I say. He was just soft spoken, and he wanted, and he he wanted to hear what it was I was saying. Uh, which again, I I think that a lot of doctors aren't very good at that. Um, so overall, I have to rate you know the uh, at being a 16 year medical marijuana patient with scripts for 16 years. I have to rate uh, Greenleaf Healthcare at the top of the list. You could not go to a better place to get your uh, medical marijuana recommendation, medical cannabis recommendation. And if you are going to grow in Washington State, you must have a medical marijuana recommendation or you are breaking the law. And I really want to I really want to make that clear. It is not worth it to break the law. Breaking the law in a police state is incredibly dangerous. They can wind up taking your bank account, your home, your cars, your children. It is not worth it. Okay? So if you don't want to get a medical marijuana, I really recommend that you don't grow. Uh, because it's not worth it especially in a state like Washington where it's legal. The only state where it's legal that you are not allowed to grow in, by the way. So uh, thank you so much to Dr. Will and, uh, and uh, Greenleaf Healthcare for your help. And if you are looking for any of these kind of natural pathy, uh, you know, Asian medicine, vitamin therapy, body work, uh, or your medical marijuana recommendation, this is the best place that I know of. Uh, I mean, uh, for the medical marijuana recommendation, I cannot more highly recommend that you go to Greenleaf Healthcare. For the other things, it's a very nice place. It had like a really comfortable, relaxed, like trancey kind of feel to it. Like it was easy space to be in. So, uh, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for in the way of kind of a, you know, new agey healthcare, Greenleaf Health, Greenleaf Healthcare is an excellent choice. Okay. So I just want to say that uh, and thank Dr. Will and thank Greenleaf Healthcare uh, for helping me, uh, a 16 year medical marijuana patient, um, you know, find a place that's easy access and comfortable and uh, act like they actually care about me. I really appreciate that. So please go check out Greenleaf Healthcare if you're going to grow this summer uh, because we don't want anybody getting in trouble unnecessarily. Okay? So uh, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, stay cool. One of these days, this drug war is going to end, has to end one of these days because it is a complete and utter failure. Uh, 
Uh, until then, be safe and try and keep it legal, okay?